Fixing painting mistakes is easier than you might think. Drips and streaks, uneven edges, crooked lines, blotchiness, and even getting paint on the ceiling. They're all fixable. Here's how. Let's start at a mistake that can occur at the very beginning of the painting process. Cutting in is a vital step to establishing the borders of your painting project. Bad cut-ins result in crooked lines or uneven edges, and it may take a few tries to master this skill. So, here are a few tips to get you started. Press and hold a loaded paintbrush firmly along the surface to apply a thick layer of paint, roughly one to one and a quarter inches from your desired border. Then use the tip of the brush to lightly feather the applied paint right up to the edge of the surface. Be certain to go over the whole line once more to ensure that the paint is evenly applied. Drips and runs are often caused by too much paint on your roller or brush, while streaks usually occur from not having enough paint in your applicator. To fix, use a razor to shave off the bulk of the drip. Alternate using 110 grit to 220 grit sandpaper until the surface is even. Wipe away the dust with a wet sponge and allow it to dry. Use a brush to apply a light coat of paint to the area. Once dry, use the same brush to apply a second coat, then use a nearly dry paintbrush to blend the edges of the newly painted area with the rest of the area. After this is dry, apply a third coat with a brush over a broad section of the project surface, ensuring that the problem area is blended with the rest of the project surface. Another common mistake is getting paint on the ceiling. If you happen to notice it when the paint is still wet, simply use a wet rag to wipe away the paint. If the paint is dry, use ceiling paint and a small paintbrush to touch up the spots on the ceiling. Ceilings are often painted in white. If you're unsure what exact color your ceiling is, bring a sample from your ceiling into your local Benjamin Moore retailer and have it color matched in waterborne ceiling paint which provides an ultra-flat finish that hides ceiling imperfections. If you encounter uneven or blotchy paint, it might be because you didn't adequately prime your wall or skipped priming altogether. Adding more coats of paint isn't likely to solve the problem, so you'll need to go back to the drawing board. That means coating the surface with primer, allowing it to dry, and then repaint with your desired product and color. Next, let's look at the ubiquitous blue painter's tape. Taping off areas is a vital part of painting prep, but sometimes leaks and paint peeling can occur. To prevent this, use a putty knife to apply pressure to the tape so it fully adheres to the surface. And be sure not to over-apply the paint at the edge of the tape. Remove the tape immediately after you've applied your last coat of paint. You can also apply a small amount of clear caulk along the edges of the tape line, lightly pushing the caulk under the tape's border to create a clean edge between the tape and your paint. If paint peels off when you remove the tape, you can use a small angled paintbrush to touch up the tight spaces with precision. Like all DIY projects, painting mistakes are bound to occur, but luckily, many setbacks are easily solvable. Reach out to your local Benjamin Moore retailer for expert advice based on their experiences and those of their customers.